blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, pain of salvation, purchase of God, born of His Washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my song. Raising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. I in my Savior am happy and blessed, watching and waiting. Looking above, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story, this is my soul, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my soul, praising my Savior all the day long. A 
us we praise and thank God for his mighty presence at this wonderful time of the day let us unite our spirit with the spirit of God and be with him at this hour of prayer as we are privileged to take part in the novena of the feast of mother mary which is celebrated by the archdiocese of bangalore we thank our dear mother mary for her accompaniment in our lives during this time of pandemic today's theme for our adoration is Mary said yes to the will of God in Luke 1:38 we read the fiat of Mary and Mary said behold the handmaid of the Lord be it done to me according to the word and the angel departed her here we see the angel spoke to mary three times firstly the angel expressed the deepest reverence for mary for this mary had no answer she answered nothing but she was disturbed in mind pondered much and waited waited for the revelation of god secondly the angel announced to her the great message with which he had been entrusted and to this message mary had replied by quietly asking how finally he had explained the work of the blessed trinity in her and in a very special way she understood since she was in deep prayer steeped in the scriptures she who by the special grace of god and by her own incomparable innocence of soul was endowed with a special clearness of vision so mary was the first one to hear and grasp the great revelation of the new gospel that is the mystery of the blessed trinity and the incarnation further her answer was prompt and decisive without hesitation each word is full of meaning her readiness and joy in making herself the instrument of the designs of god were shown by the first word behold her profound humility reveals itself in the term the handmaid of the lord the words be it done to me shows her marvelous faith through the angel however the angel did not tell her this or that she was not in manner of passive disposition in the execution of the great mystery 
and the last expression according to thy words shows her faith and humility and the joy of giving her might to the accomplishment of the salvific mission the fiat of mary is more than her own words it is the conclusion and fulfillment of all her longings and of all the longings of the holy souls that had preceded her since the days of eve let it be done let it be done had been the prayer of all the ages and at last the word had been said which was the amen of the litany she speaks in the name of all the world in the name of all creation for her fiat is the acceptance for them of the union with god for which as saint paul says all creation earns mary stands between heaven and earth linking the two together the channel through which god chooses to pass from his throne to the cottage of human being the mother of the divine grace the cause of our joy and all because she had the simplicity and therefore the unconscious courage to accept the call of him who loved her behold the handmaid of the lord be it done to me according to thy word behold the handmaid of the lord be it done to me according to thy word mother mary is our model she is a mother of all of us the whole human race we are so privileged to take part in the ongoing celebration of our archdiocese of bangalore we submit at our lord the efforts of our archbishop most reverend dr peter machado and all the different teams who work with him we give our simple contribution to this great celebration as we are seated here in god's presence experiencing his presence more and more within ourselves let's quiet in ourselves and chant the tees chant and involve ourselves in this hour of adoration prayerfully as to lord my soul and blesses holy name bless the lord my soul he leads me into love bless the lord my soul
He leads me into light. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, He leads me into and sisters as we are gathered here in the presence of this blessed sacrament praising him and worshiping him we all know the world world is struggling but someone to free us from this epidemic So therefore when everyone is praying earnestly that God may intervene this time of pandemic and free us so this holy hour as a preparation for the celebration of mother mary's birthday you We hear the word of God wherein Mother Mary was instrumental to bring in the light into the world. So let's now listen to the word of God. The Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 1 verses 37 to 56. For nothing will be impossible with God. The Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. The angel departed from her. Those days Mary set out and went with haste to Judea town, the hill country where she entered the house of Zechariah, greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why has this happened to me that the mother of my Lord comes to me? But as soon as, as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the loveliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts has brought down the powerful from their thrones lit up the lowly has filled the hungry with good things send the rich away empty has helped the servant israel in remembrance of his mercy according to the promise he has made to our ancestors to abraham and to his descendants forever may remain with her but 
three months and then return to her home. Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters and devotees of Mother Mary, was remember with the beautiful hymn or song where Reverend Father Dr. Susiraj and maybe his companions composed this beautiful one. Agatum yenre sollale Inda hagilame potrum thayare Agatum yenre sollale Inda hagilame potrum thayare Thuya mariyannaye Engal padu kavaliye Thuya mariyannaye Engal padu kavaliye It's a beautiful lyric and uh, Father Susaraj, the Dean of KGF But I really experienced this great love of Mother Mary and he could bring out this beautiful song of glory. When mother said yes, the world, world rejoices. That's the meaning of this song. I was going through the book, Mother Mary, the co redemptrix and Mediatrix. Where in this particular scripture, what we heard, there these two words come in, like I am the handmaid of the Lord. That means already our sister through the introduction has brought out very well about that particular passage. But these two words was capturing for me. And from that particular book, it is very clear. And of course, in a theologian, going back to the original, the Vulgate Greek term, Yenothomai, wherein I am the handmaid of the Lord, which means saying yes to the word of the Lord. And her consent is not just an instant one, but when she said yes, she meant it. She meant it, which means she was desiring and willing. And it's what this word more operative the word which she said with consent that it should happen. Well, the second word, the angelic salutation, full of grace. Mother Mary, full of grace. That particular word, full of grace, which made her to be the person or the servant or the woman who could bring in salvation into the world. Let it be done. Let, it, let this happen. The first creation happened with that word, let it be. And the new creation or through the incarnation, Mother Mary's let it be done unto me made the new creation. When God created the world, He said, let it be. The whole universe came into all the creatures, the whole creation. And Mother Mary's let it be has brought in the new creation through incarnation. So that's a beautiful theme running between. So therefore, Mother Mary stands aloof amidst the creation. Among all the creatures, she becomes the most important one because she was instrumental in bringing about the new creation or the incarnation. Through the incarnation, we know God the Heavenly Father through the Holy Spirit, Jesus took human form. Jesus became flesh, one among us. 
and Emmanuel means God is with us. That was possible because Mother Mary's yes. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, as we are preparing for the great celebration of the birth of our Mother Mary, she was chosen one. She has been well prepared because none other than Jesus and of course John the Baptist, no one came to this world without original sin. So which means God had played a role here to prepare a woman, an instrument to bring Jesus, the word of God into this world. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, throughout the world, the birthday of Jesus and birthday of Mother Mary and birthday of John the Baptist, the only three people's birthday, as we all know, is celebrated, remembered and commemorated in the church history. So therefore, what a significant day for us today. We are unable to go to Mother's church today. Thousands and lakhs of people I've seen throughout my life here in Bangalore, the Archdiocese, St. Mary's Basilica would have been thronged with thousands of devotees, not only Christians, from all lives, all walks of lives and different people of different faith, caste, creed, color, language, irrespective of all the differences, all would come to Mother Mary. Because we know Mother Mary is the best person possible. She is the best one possible who could carry us to Jesus. Because she carried Jesus to us. So therefore, it is possible for her to take us to Jesus. So therefore, today my dear brothers and sisters, as we are well preparing for the feast day of our Mother Mary, let us place ourselves into the care of our Mother Mary. Mother Mary said yes and Jesus came into this world. Mother said yes, our Lord Jesus converted water into wine. Mother said yes and Jesus was there as the Redeemer and she stood as the co-redeemer, Redemptorist. And she was there from womb to tomb following Jesus. Even at the cross, Jesus said, Behold your mother. Behold your mother. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, it is fitting and it's really a great privilege for us. Our mother Mary is with us and let us give ourselves totally surrender as she surrendered herself to the will of God, as she was obedient to the will of God, and she was totally committed herself to the will of God, let us too give ourselves to God. And certainly everything is under control. Someone may say and think uh, everything is going out of the way, but certainly nothing would go out of the way because everything is under the control of God. And Mother Mary is the best intercessor in many, many occasions. And when the world, world, world was craving for peace and love of God, it was Mother Mary who came to our help. And when the whole creation was seeking for the Redeemer, it was Mother Mary who was chosen. The same Mother Mary will also stand by the world and by us to free us from this epidemic and this pandemic time. May God bless us.
St. Augustine said, The Father is the lover, the Son is the beloved, and Holy Spirit is love. Each of the three persons of the Holy Trinity is an eternal spring of love, constantly receiving and constantly pouring out. We have gathered here to pour out our praises to receive Trinitarian blessings. Why do we praise God the Father, the Son Jesus, and Holy Spirit the Paraclete? In Exodus chapter 20 verses 2 and 3, God says, I am your Lord and God who brought you out of the house of slavery. So you shall have no other gods before me. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus says, Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. So, worship is not merely a natural instinct, but it is a command from God. And God alone is worthy of our devotion, of our praise, and of our worship. So let us worship the Lord in splendor of his holiness, for God is holy. A.W. Tozer said, Without worship, we go about miserable. God doesn't want us to be miserable. He has perfect plan for our lives. He has done so many things to us to show that He loves us and doesn't want us to be miserable. During this COVID-19, the whole world seems to be miserable and in turmoil. Let us turn to God with the faithful hearts for protection and healing. Many people think that praise and worship is only singing songs, but it is a willingness to exalt God and worship is an expression of love to God because He gives us more than what we deserve. So dear sisters, let us kneel down, raising our hearts and minds towards God to praise and worship the Trinitarian God. Your response? We adore you. Almighty Father, Most High God the Father, God our Heavenly Father, we adore you. Abba Father, Loving Father, Eternal Father, we adore you. Living Father, Everlasting Father, 
to all of us and to the whole humanity and to this world. She is adorned with many names all over the world according to the places and apparitions. Let us now pray the litany to our mother, to our beloved mother, asking her to intercede for us and to this wounded humanity to lead us to the shores of hope, joy and peace during this pandemic. We all raise our hearts towards our mother. We believe in our heart that she will intercede for us. And now we pray this litany. Oh 
upon us. Who eternity when God see on us. Who Pray for us, Queen of Prophets.
takes away the sins of the world, spared us so long. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us so long. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, Lord, that we, your servants, may enjoy unfailing health of mind and body, and through the prayers of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary in her glory, free us from our sorrows in this world, and give us eternal happiness in the next. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we are in his glorious presence and developing our deep faith and trust in his divine providence, let us submit all our intercessions at the feet of our Eucharistic Lord. Heavenly Father, we implore your blessings on our apostolic successor, Pope Francis, our Bishop Peter Machado, all the bishops, priests, who represent Christ all over the world. May they be endowed with the gifts and fruits of the Holy Spirit, which would enable them to spread the kingdom values on this pandemic, and making the faithful strong in faith and constant in prayer. Through the intercession of our Mother, let's pray to the Lord. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Our God and healer, show your compassion for the suffering world, which is under the clutch of the deadly virus. Come to our aid to those who are victimized by this pandemic. Lord, free them from this terrible situation so that life can resume its normal course. Through the intercession of our mother, let's pray to the Lord. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Merciful Lord, strengthen and encourage those in public health service and in the medical profession, especially doctors, nurses, healthcare workers and volunteers, and all those who have serving patients, support their heroic effort and grant them strength, generosity and continued health. Through the intercession of our Mother Mary, let us pray to the Lord. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Loving Lord, come to our aid as the coronavirus is spreading globally. Illumine the minds of all researchers engaged in the scientific research that they may find effective solution to overcome this virus. Through the intercession of our Mother Mary, let's pray to the Lord. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Loving Father, support our national leaders that with wisdom and generosity they may come to the aid of those lacking the basic necessities of life and may devise social and economic solutions inspired by foresightedness and solidarity. Through the intercession of our Mother Mary, let's pray to the Lord. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our Good Shepherd, we offer at your feet, Reverend Father Chinnapa, through whom we have received manifold blessings of God. Lord, we pray for his good health and fruitful mission in our parish. May you be his strength, support, and guide in all his endeavors. 
through the intercession of our mother let us pray to the lord may your love be upon us o lord as we place all our hope in you prince of peace we pray that all the people in our country may live together in peace and harmony may your divine love and wisdom work together in the hearts minds and lives of all people to bring this peace and unity without giving any consideration as to who we are what we are and where we are through the intercession of our mother let us pray to the lord may your love be upon us o lord as we pray as he has said ask and you shall receive we have asked him and we believe that he is ever ready to give us the god who has listened to our prayers our intercessions our praises and worship is waiting to give us in his time let us once again surrender ourselves and all our needs at his feet and with confidently call him abba father through the words of jesus a father in heaven holy be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us Do not bring us to the test but deliver us from evil Down in a duration for Lord the sacred host we for all the facts of life with the feeble senses fail to the everlasting father and the son who reigns on high with the holy ghost proceeding Forth from each eternally be salvation on a blessing might turn endless majesty amen blessings thank the lord for this wonderful hour we spend before the lord As we all know, Mother Mary is considered the Ark of the Covenant and she is the tabernacle, the living tabernacle in whom Jesus remained. Because of her hands, everything was possible. Because of her hands, the darkness turned into light. The invisible God made himself visible the people with mortality was raised to immortality the people who were suffering were given good health the people who were restless were given peace of mind so therefore my dear brothers and sisters 
though the world world at this pandemic is restless and struggling and painful our mother mary is here with us as we intercede through her she would certainly pray for us and she was the bearer of christ so let us bear the blessing of jesus through the sacrament invoking god's blessing with this final prayer with along our sisters in the community so super rita and the team for having enabled us to pray for this full hour meaningfully we thank them for the preparation they have made for us to celebrate mother mary's feast today her birthday let us pray O God who in this wonderful sacrament left us a memorial of your passion grant we implore you that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood as always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption who live and reign forever and ever 